I'm Gwen Preston of Resource Maven. I'm here at the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver in May, and I'm joined by Eric Roth of New Dimension Resources, which is, the, the name is kind of appropriate since it's a brand new company li listed two weeks ago or less than two weeks That's ago. That's right, Gwen. Yeah. When it finally all came together. Um, so why don't you tell us the backstory here? This is kind of a cool story where you get to reunite with a portfolio of projects that you really liked before you made another amazing discovery and had to go and focus on that for a while. That's correct. So, so, and thanks for having me here on the show today, uh, Gwen. So, um, but the story, the, the backstory behind this is that this all used to be part of Mariana Resources. Mm -hmm. as, as some of your followers would know, we, we had a major discovery in Turkey, which was called Hot Martin, mm -hmm. uh, very high grade gold copper asset. Yes. Um, fantastic discovery, one of the best, uh, I have to say. In the cycle, seen, yes. Yeah, I mean, oh, in, 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 in the last few years. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, then what happened was Mariana was, was acquired last year by Sandstorm. Yeah. Uh, now, because the acquisition happened at the corporate level, of course, Sandstorm Sandstorm also acquired a portfolio of projects on Ivory Coast, which then we spun out into Awali Resources, right. and the Argentine portfolio became New Dimension Resources. Yes. And so, as you mentioned, New Dimension Resources, uh, we just closed the acquisition a couple of weeks ago, so we've now been, uh, we're now free trading, um, right. and now we can get onto the job at hand of, uh, of adding value to the portfolio. And just, in, just a little bit of background on the portfolio. Um, Basically, it's a portfolio that Mariana has, since 2006, been putting together. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the company spent a, a lot of time and effort building up this portfolio. It's a very nice portfolio of, uh, of assets. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, when Hot Martin came along, it kind of just stole the thunder. So yeah, yeah so, so we really didn't have a chance. We had to park it for a few years mm -hmm. while, while we focused on Turkey. And now we have the opportunity to keep moving it forward. So. But what's interesting about that is that you had been quite engaged with some of these projects. Absolutely. You obviously know them very well. You, you know what you like about them. You know what you'd like to seek within them. Um, and now you, that means that you and your team can sort of hit the ground running with this portfolio projects where you have you know land hold, where you have like land ownership and or permits and a lot of knowledge so you can really Correct. just get down there and start working so there's a bunch of projects in the portfolio but there's two that we'll just talk about two today so um, Las Calandrias mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that one what the focus used to be and what you think the focus is going to be sure. going forward here yeah so, so Las Calandrias would be what we'd call the flagship project mm -hmm. there is a a modest resource on it, uh, 490,000 ounces in indicated uh, category. So there is a, a small gold resource on it. Sure. Now, if you look at Las Calandrias in detail, there's a, there's a, a Calandria sewer deposit, which is more of a bulk tonnage type system, mm -hmm. but there's also high grade veins that, uh, it, within the rest of the property. Now, Mariana in its day, and here we go back to sort of 2011, 2012, the which is when they were most active, yeah. the focus was purely on the low grade because it was a, was a new technical discovery, it was a technical success. And so there was a lot of um, enthusiasm around that, right? Sure, and that's what the market liked in those days as that's well, exactly ounces, what the market build liked, big correct. ounces. Yeah. But the opportunity for us now is that a lot of the high-grade targets were inadequately tested, and, mm -hmm. and that really therein lies the opportunity for us as New Dimension. On, on Calandria Norte, we have, a, 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 again, a modest resource, but it's running about nine grams a ton. Right. Um, and we, what we want to do now with the drilling that we have planned is to extend that resource um, basically look for extensions to that and of course some of these parallel veins and, and, and as I say therein lies the opportunity for us and the good thing is because of our background we've spent we're ready to go right, right. I mean, the targets are ready to go there's no this isn't 12 months of target generation right. and you know the targets are ready to go we've closed the acquisition now we can proceed with drilling so. you're you're almost drilling already the drills are we're sort of very close mobilizing so, so as we speak virtually as we speak right. so, so the idea is to, to basically I'm hoping next week we'll have a, a press release out just to say yes we're, we're actually now drilling so the idea is to basically go forward and let's uh, let's move this forward uh, quickly um, the other thing just a little bit of Past history is uh, I was also uh, CEO of Extori Gold Mines. Mm, we had the Cerro Moro project just down the road. Um, so we're very familiar with this part of the world. Yes. Uh, and of course, uh, for followers who go back to 2012 would know that Yamano purchased that project mm -hmm. from us in, in, in 2012. So we, we know the lay of the land very well. So yeah. we, we, we've got a good level of understanding of the projects. We know what we're looking for. And uh, now we just need to get forward and start drilling. So. And the lay of the land also, this is pretty uh, active mining country. There's a lot of optionality depending on what you find. There's sort of, you know, neighboring miners who might need ore. There's, you know, th there's lots of ways that this could work, Correct, um, which is always great for an exploration story. Uh, absolutely. So, so what's happening in Santa Cruz right now? So, so we're, we've got a very privileged position in the sense of, obviously for us, first prize is a, is a standalone discovery. Of course. You know, one to two million ounces of high grade mineralization Sounds or better. Good. So that's, that, that for us is really first prize, right? Yeah. 
But the second uh, alternative is if we happen to find resources that don't quite make enough for a standalone, we have lots of options around us in mm -hmm. terms of processing plants. In Santa Cruz right now, you have a very unusual situation where you have a lot of mill capacity, a lot of plant capacity, but not enough feed for the right. mills, right? So, so we have neighbors that are basically looking for material to put into their mills, right? So, right. so uh, of course, the first prize for us is to find another Ceramoro to, to have a, a standalone ourselves. But the plan B is obviously that we, if we find a resource that's smaller, we've got lots of options for, sure. for actually taking that forward. So. And um, let's just talk a little bit about sort of corporate structure since you're mm -hmm. fresh out the gate. Uh, valuation is pretty modest for this, for this entity, but again, brand new to the market, market not necessarily sure what to make of you as yet, which is why you're driving towards good news flow in the short term. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so, so right now we're trading about, uh, I guess, a market cap around 10 million Canadian. So, mm -hmm. so as you, but, but with as you a mentioned, fair bit of money in the bank. We, yeah, correct. We, with the, we, we've just raised 3.8 million, so, right. that's, so that's still there, obviously, mm -hmm. ready for the drilling. Um, and, and of course, the idea is that then basically we, we then push forward and, and, and grow the resources, particularly on those high grade systems. And, mm -hmm. and, and so over the next months, what you will see, Gwen, is you'll see the drill results coming out. You'll see, um, you know, as, as batches of results come in, we'll keep the market informed. What we would like to do is also have a resource update for around the middle of September. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of what you'll see going forward, lots of news flow from the drilling, resource update, and then ideally after that we'd like to just keep drilling. Just but, keep drilling. but you know, talking about the next four months, uh, you know, they're sort of the priorities for us really. Absolutely. Well, this is, I mean, an exciting story. The market likes news stories these days, inexpensive stories. Enterprise value of just over $6 million is Correct. very small given mm. the portfolio Correct. And, and the management. And then, you know, active right out the gate is also you know often a huge plus, a a huge huge plus. plus. that yeah. doesn't usually happen so best of luck out there i look forward thank to keeping much. up with all the news and uh hope it goes well thank you very much Gwen. Uh, great thank you very much absolutely Pleasure.